Where's the write-up? You mentioned the write-up, Flats. You said you was going to bring me the write-up. Where's that? I don't see the write-up on how to do it, Flats. Bring it quickly. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nick Moses 05. Mo fam, we are in here for another amazing video. Now, PS5's been hacked. Oh my God, I finally get to play my PS5 backups. Oh gosh, I haven't updated. Oh, um, slow down. Let's talk about it, y'all, okay? So there have been a lot of recent developments within the PlayStation hacking scene, all right? Now, if you want the old technological, cyabological, dialogological, you know, if you want all that, there's a lot of other places you can go for that. But right here, we're going to keep it simple. We are going to go to an article by wololo.net that covers a lot of it. And then I'll go ahead and break down a lot of that for you guys. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's swap right now. Bam. And I think everybody should be able to see that. OK. All right. So as you can see, the latest updates on flats. PS5 exploit chain. Now, I would like for you to go to wololo.net and read the entire article. Um, so I'll just kind of preference some of the things in it. All right. Uh, we'll start here. Just the first part. PlayStation hacker Flat Z ignited the PlayStation 5 hacking scene earlier this week by sharing he has access. Yes, he does to the PS5 PSP, which is platform secure processor, meaning he has acquired the PlayStation 5 decryption keys. All right. Dust has settled. It has been confirmed. Flats does not intend to release this work, but he has been talking about leveraging the acquired knowledge to provide an equivalent of PS4 FPKGs. OK, and you guys, there's a lot to cover in this article. So I do want you to read this article in its entirety. Uh, I am going to preference a lot of it for you. Like I said, if you don't want to go through the diabolical, psychological, you know, you came to the right place. So. Flat Z also confirmed he has a hypervisor exploit as well, okay? FPKG work is in progress. They think that it's possible that it's the same exploit that was used by fail overflow that may not have been disclosed. Not 100%. We can't confirm that, okay? So that's allegedly, all right? Um, a lot here. As you can see, there's a direct statement here, the developer known as Flats has successfully obtained read access to the PS5 platform secure, uh, security processor, which had which contains crucial components such as boot ROM and key seeds. OK, I don't know why boot ROM is. Do I have a fine going? Ah, OK, I did. There we go. And key seeds. Addition, additionally, he has verified he has also developed an hypervisor exploit as of right now flats has decided not to disclose his exploits or bugs at this time however leveraging the knowledge gained from this achievement he aims to undertake the reverse engineering of secure modules and other relevant information the ultimate goal is to enable the use of fpkgs on the ps5 in the future okay now let's go ahead and pull me back up because i'm going to unpack a lot of that for you guys okay a lot of people don't want to go through the cyabala uh you know Sayabala, lot dialogical, whatever you want to say, I understand that's why I'm here. So, a um, couple things, and I'm sorry the air cut on. If you hear something in the background, my bad. But um, Flats has gained access, okay? Has been confirmed by Flats, different things, different pictures that you can see in that article, different tweets as well um, that have been sought through that Flats has posted, and people have pretty much deciphered them to say, it's confirmed 120% has access to the PS5 platform secure processor. Now, a lot of people want to know what is the platform secure processor? And I did a lot of this research for you, okay? A platform secure processor is a hardware component designed to enhance security within a system and it handles sensitive tasks like encryption, authentication, and firmware validation. So you can see why that's very important, okay, to have that. Now, in gaining access to that, Flats is also able to acquire the PlayStation 5 decryption keys. Now, a lot of people want to know what the decryption keys, uh, uh, what do they mean? You know, a lot of people hear that, oh, they have the different decryption keys for Nintendo Switch, decryption keys for a PlayStation 5, different systems. Uh, I, I took notes for everyone, okay? Decryption keys are specific codes or numbers used to convert encrypted data back to its original form, 
okay so it's encrypted in order to get it back in its original form you need to have these specific codes or numbers in video game consoles it ensures that only legitimate software runs providing protection against pirated games and malicious software so you can understand the importance of having those decryption keys now you're able to play backups of your games you can be able to play your latest backups okay that would be nice now from my understanding uh flats is on a lower firmware so some things might have been patched like that hypervisor exploit because i do believe you know um different patches have been put out and some of this may have already been disclosed to sony so as long as you're offline you keeping your systems offline and you're low you'll probably be able to utilize it but if not and you update it'll probably be uh, more than likely the hypervisor exploit will be gone all right so also flats now has the potential to decrypt playstation 5 packages such as games or the firmware updates themselves that's big okay let me repeat has the potential to decrypt playstation 5 packages such as games or firmware updates so when you're downloading playstation games and, and i want anyone out there in the comments to correct me at any point all right i love to hear you guys in the comments but you're actually downloading games from sony servers and they come in a pkg format now if you're able to decrypt these you're able to get the raw files they're not encrypted anymore so now you can go ahead and provide backups you can be able to upload these um telegram channels are running rampant with a lot of piracy right now so you can imagine the playstation 5 games that would be available because of it and also firmware updates you'll be able to uh kind of have and go through each of these firmware updates be able to see what's included now a lot of this has been done through reverse engineering but it will make it more available to the public um and there'll be some other cool things you can do possibly lowering uh you know downgrading not sure if that's you know possible comment days shout out to me okay but confirmed a hundred percent the hypervisor exploit likely on earlier firmware versions so i don't want people to get that twisted okay thinking oh my goodness that hypervisor exploit still gonna hit. maybe if you have an older firmware and hacks become available you may never touch sony servers but you'll be able to play backups down the line that's something that a lot of people kind of predicted i know some folks out there right now uh gi joe shout out gi joe but i know he has a system right now untouched on the lowest firmware that's probably ready for an exploit so this is what a lot of people do it for okay um the entry point that flats used was through a game save exploit on a ps4 disc based game all right so there's no hardware hack involved at all this is no mod chip this is no you know you need a usb drive this is no anything this is directly from a ps4 game safe exploit a lot of people remember even back in wii days i remember using the lego indiana jones to activate a game safe exploit this is the exact same thing okay a game safe exploit now being that he mentioned it doesn't it make it more available doesn't do more people look out for this game safe exploit um is it more games that may have this exploit you know we don't know it might be more games it might not just be one game and this could be used it, is it still working now you know are some of these game save exploits working who you know who knows all right um they stated that it might be the same exploit that fail overflow used and fail overflow had an entire class breaking down everything so i believe you can go ahead and check that out you can look that up um but not sure it has not been confirmed and i don't like to put anything out there that ain't a hundred percent you know what i mean i've done it before i ain't gonna lie but you know i don't want to do that all the time okay um but never you know disclose what exactly if fail uh, overflow use the same exploit okay so big picture of everything is that flats has not disclosed the exploit also aims to use the knowledge for reverse engineering and possibly enable fpkgs on the playstation 5 down the line so if you never update maybe down the line you could probably utilize fpkgs on your playstation 5 um through this exploit so that's the possibility still out there but won't be releasing it to the public um so 
you know, you kind of got that. Uh, he, he's not disclosed anything and will not. Uh, that's, that's my understanding. Now, I would say this. This is my thing with hackers. Okay, a lot of people want to, hey, Flex, how do I do it? Hey, Flex, how do you do this? Hey, Flex, how do you do this? Hey, uh, you know, how do you do this? They reach out to other people. Avoid approaching Flex with all these questions, please. And I got notes right here that I'm definitely looking at. I put here, avoid asking Flats repetitive questions. How do you do it? Where do you get access to it? When are you going to release FPKGs for the PlayStation 5? When are you going to release FPKGs for the PlayStation 4? Stop all that. Okay, stop all that. Um, no current specified release date for a detailed write-up. So I don't want to hear you asking that either. Okay, where's the write-up? You mentioned the write-up, Flats. You said you was going to bring me the write-up. Where's that? I don't see the write-up on how to do it, Flats. Bring it quickly. I don't want to see that. Okay? Respect the Flats. Just let him, let him do his thing. Okay? Let him do his thing. All right? So, as far as homebrew support, uh, Flats knowledge could possibly enable FPKGs on the PlayStation 5. So we got to respect the flats, right? All right, leave them alone. FPKGs were used on the PlayStation 4 to trick the DRM system into installing Homebrew, okay? And a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead, and, and I took some more notes here breaking down some things. Uh, keys, decryption keys. A lot of people mention that you'll have the keys. Ooh, we can do this with the keys. Well, keys... I ain't going to say might definitely have been changed in recent firmware. It's uncertain if this method will work for newer firmware versions. I'm almost certain it's something that Nintendo Switch does every single update, changing the keys. It's very simple for them to do. It's a specific line of code uh, and numbers lined up. All right. Um, we talked about access to the boot ROM. Boot ROM is a read-only section of the ROM containing the firmware needed to initiate the device's booting process. So when you have that boot ROM, you can now initiate the boot process, okay? You can say, hey, run this uh, custom firmware first or run these things first, and you kind of have control of that boot order, and then you'll have access to hypervisor, I believe so. Um, Key seeds, you're, you're seeing key seeds mentioned in the article. Those are initial values or algorithms used to generate cryptographic keys. In consoles, all right, they enhance security by ensuring unique encryption for different systems or software, preventing all the basic generic attacks on their devices, all right? Uh, FPKG, fake package. Okay, if you don't know, that's what it stands for. PKG, it's package. And then it, I'm sure there's something for each one, but fake package. Okay, that's what I have here. But it tricks the system's DRM into believing it is official. It runs it, and you got homebrew on your system. Um, hypervisor, all right, is a software, firmware, or hardware. Okay, let me repeat. Hypervisor is a software, firmware, or hardware that creates and manages virtual machines. In gaming systems, it isolates the gaming operating system from the underlying hardware. All right, so just, just key in on that. It isolates the game operating system, so the game OS and underlying hardware, ensuring consistent performance and security, mainly from pirates. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's a big deal that they mentioned it was a PS4 disc base exploit i think there's more people that will be looking through playstation 4 games in the game saved and seeing what exploits could be used that's just me you know so i don't know how you know flats feel about that or anybody feel about that but you know sony can disclose all if, if it's already patched you can really disclose all this information but they know it could cause a small percentage of users to start backing up games and and playing a lot of copy games okay but isn't this what the homebrew community all about? Right? It's all about that. That's what it's all about. Other than that, it's your boy, Nick Folgers 05. Mo fam, we out.